If your little one's struggling with reflux and it's making tummy time more difficult, you're gonna wanna stick around because in this video, I'm gonna share some tips to hopefully make it easier for you and baby to enjoy tummy time. Coming up. Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, my name is Nicole. I'm a mama. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist as well as an intentional parenting coach. And on this channel, I wanna share helpful tools, strategies, tips, and my own personal experiences to help make motherhood more enjoyable and more easy on you. So if that sounds like something you're into, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. All right, so I know it could be so, so, so difficult even just seeing our little one struggle with reflux. Obviously they're uncomfortable. We are feeling terrible for them. And sometimes being on your stomach with that just makes not only a mess, but just amplifies the discomfort that your little one is feeling. So you might be struggling with initiating tummy time or just having your little one even tolerate tummy time for a couple of minutes. So there's a few things I just wanna chat with you about so you have a solid understanding of what's going on and some modifications you can make that may improve your little one's experience. So first off, I wanna say that reflux can be quite common, especially in our newborns because they have this immature GI tract. And typically maturity of that GI tract doesn't take place till about the four to six month age. So you may or may not notice that your little one is struggling the most in the earliest weeks and months of life, and it should start to subside as they get a little bit older. And again, as their GI tract begins to mature. In the meantime, because as we know, tummy time is really important and it's something we wanna incorporate into their daily routine, there are some modifications that we can make that can help reduce reflux and increase your little one's tolerance during tummy time. So the first thing to note, and you may or may not have already discovered this purely through experience, is that being in a more upright position is going to yield better results in terms of comfort and decreasing the amount of spit up that happens. So if you can do tummy time in a more upright position, especially in the early days, it's gonna go a long way in terms of establishing a pleasurable connection with your baby in tummy time. So your baby's like, okay, I can do this activity and I'm not completely miserable. So what do I mean by in a more upright position? Some common tips I like to give parents is doing tummy time on your chest. So you can be in a semi-reclined position, maybe sitting on the couch and placing your baby on your chest. So just slightly leaning back here, as long as your baby is awake, that still counts for tummy time. Your baby doesn't need to be flat on the floor, left alone to struggle and fend for him or herself. So starting here may be a great place. Of course, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I love, love, love the big exercise balls because the exercise ball allows you to control the angle in which your baby is doing tummy time in. So the further forward you lean your baby, the harder they have to work to lift their head. And the further back you have your baby, the less likely he or she is to spit up or be completely uncomfortable because it's less pressure on his or her stomach. So playing on the exercise ball can be great. You can have a couple of moments where your baby is more flat and then you can play again with the angle and bring them more upright if they seem uncomfortable. And of course, adding the bouncing and slight movement can help calm and reassure your kiddo that all is well. Bobby pillows are another great way to help your baby be a bit more inclined so that they're not spitting up or the pressure is at least decreased on their stomach. If you don't have a bobby pillow, you can always roll up a towel and just turn it into an upside down U and place your baby over that little U shape there to give them just a little bit more of a propped up position. That can absolutely go a long way in helping them with their comfort too. So the final tip I wanna mention is timing. When are you offering tummy time for your little one? I would avoid tummy time right after a meal or right after feeding your kiddo as their stomach is full and they're more likely to either spit up or have reflux. So if you can either time tummy time, so it's between feeds or if your little one is in a good neurological state and they're not starving, you can even offer it before a feed. This really helps again with just gastric 
emptying. So the more time our baby has to digest the milk or any solid foods, the less discomfort they're likely to feel and less likely they're going to spit up. And then one other quick tip, not necessarily related to tummy time, but when your child is lying down, especially as they get older and you're three months or beyond, the best position to have your kiddo if they are lying down is actually going to be on their left side. And you can prop your kiddo up in side lying so that they are supported on their left side. That's actually going to aid in gastric emptying versus if you had your little one on their right side, it puts pressure on their lower esophageal sphincter, which is basically a muscle that's supposed to keep all of the acid and food down in the stomach. If they have loosening of that sphincter and they're placed on the right side, it's more likely that that acid is going to come up through the sphincter and you're gonna have that uncomfortable reflux and the spitting up. So left side lying is going to aid in the emptying. All right, mama, I hope that this information is helpful to you. Of course, as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If not, I will catch you in the very next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.